Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another quick production tip here with Albert. Today, we're going to be talking about how to export a MIDI file and how to import it back into another session. Cool. So let's get started, guys. Now, I'm sure you guys all know what a four to the floor kick is. And if you don't know, I am positive that you guys have all heard it. So let's check it out. Okay, cool. So I want to go ahead and export that, just the kick drum by itself. So here's what I'm going to do. Now, there's two ways to do this, and they're very simple. The first way is simply by going into the region that you want to go ahead and export, which in this case is a kick. Okay, so you can go ahead and export it as a MIDI file, right? Just by left clicking, or you can use a key command, which is command option E. It'll go ahead and pop up the export dialog window. And then you're just going to go ahead and save it. All right. So just make sure you guys name it something simple, something that you're going to remember, something that fits what's actually there. So in this case, I'm just going to name it kick and then I'm going to name it four to the floor or something like that. Uh, just so I can remember exactly what it is. Uh, make sure you guys keep everything organized just so that in case you forget where it's at, you guys can just go into your spotlight on Mac and then you can search for it. And then that way you're going to be able to find it really, really easy. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and rename this, save it. And then I will go ahead and open up another session. I'm going to go ahead and test out the MIDI file that I just exported and saved right now. And I'm going to go ahead and import it into my new session. So let's check it out. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop this in to my new session. OK, so I'm going to go into the end of this session over here. OK, I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop it into this track. It's going to ask you if you want to keep the tempo information. You don't have to, obviously. In this case, I won't. So I'm just going to go ahead and import it. And then I'm just going to play around with it. OK, so here is our region. I actually imported the MIDI file into a bass track. So I'm going to move it back over here into this kick track. And test it out. Perfect. As you can see, it works. And as you can see, it also keeps the same note information and the same velocity information from when I originally exported it. And everything sounds good. Perfect. So I'm just going to play around with it and I'm going to show you how easy it is to build just a little loop with some bass, a kick, some instruments, some synths. Cool. So as you can see, I can use this same MIDI file, copy it into another track, into another instrument, and just get creative from there. So as you can see, I already moved it into the upbeats of this track. I'm going to copy it down into the bass, right? And now I have a kick, a bass, a synth. Let's listen to just a kick in the bass. Yeah, that sounds dirty, but I don't like that kick, so let's change it. Yeah, there we go. That sounds a lot better. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Right, switch up the synth, right? Now you're getting creative. That's what it's all about, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, the bell. Make sure to leave a comment, a like, share. Let me know if you guys have any questions at all. I'm always happy to answer questions, and I will see you guys next time. Happy producing.